Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Nathan Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to and this one says that last word to my mother and this story was actually shared by Mohammed Hoblos, okay? <laughs> For some of you who love uh, Mohammed Hoblos, at least we'll be hearing some of his touching um, story today. And then if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's thought or belief. This is basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so guys without any further ado let's get on to this video and take this beautiful story by mohammed hopeless assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah my brothers and sisters i wanted to share something that happened with me personally uh, not too long ago i went to visit a friend of mine whose mother was dying of cancer she had been battling cancer for about five years and uh, news came to me that uh, she was, was on her last days. So I went to visit the brother and as I sat down with him, he was explaining to me that his mother is going through that state of Sakarat al maut conscious and unconscious and, and that the cancer was really starting to spread all over. So as I sat with this friend of mine and we were talking, his eyes teed up. So I naturally, I mean, I assumed that because his mother's dying and so I tried to comfort him and I said to him, look, you know, this is natural in life. And he said to me, I'm not crying because she's leaving. And of course I am upset, but that's not why I'm crying. I said, then why are you upset? He said, I'm upset because all my life, I've never thanked my mother for what she's done. And honestly, I can't explain what happened to me when he said these words, you know. He said, all my life, I've never once in my life said thank you to my mom. He said, and now that she's sitting in the next room and she's alive, but she's conscious and unconscious, and even if I spoke to her, she's not going to be able to understand or comprehend the words that I'm saying. And wallahi, my brothers and sisters, this really affected me. That all his life, you know, all of our lives, for those of us who are fortunate enough that their mothers are still around, you know. My mum has been there all my life, never failed me once, never failed me once, and never once have I ever come to her and just said thank you. And not one of those thank yous with some flowers, and that's a good thank you, but those really deep thank yous. You know that thank you that if she left me now, I've told her and I've thanked her from the depths of my heart. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, I, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't been able to forget this. That when was the last time you thanked your mother? When was the last time you showed your mother genuine appreciation for everything that she's ever done? Or are we going to be like those, or are we going to be of those who when our mothers leave us permanently, then we will sit back and remember and start to regret that I didn't take advantage of the opportunity when I had it. You know, my brothers, in many places around the world, they celebrate this thing called Mother's Day. And it breaks my heart because in Islam, in truth, Mother's Day is every day. We don't single out one day of the year to say, oh, mom, look, I remembered you today. But rather we're ordered by Allah and his prophet more or less to remember our mothers on a daily basis. A man came to the Prophet of Allah and he says to him, our Prophet of Allah, and many of us get this hadith wrong. He says, our Prophet of Allah, who is most deserving of my kind treatment? He says to him, your mother. He says, then whom? He said to him, your mother. He said to him, then whom? He said to him, your mother. He said, then whom? He said, then your father. Many of us, we interpret this to be love, that my mother is most deserving of my love. No, the person that is most deserving of your kind treatment, of your money, of your health, of, your, of everything that you possess, the person that is most deserving of this more than anyone above all is your mother, then your mother, then your mother, and then your father. 
My brothers and sisters, in short, many of us, we still have our mothers. Wallahi, do not be of the losers who wait until our mothers leave us permanently, only then to wish and to regret and say, you know, I wish I can go back and thank my mother. If your mother is still around, you know, run. By Allah, run to her and thank her for everything that she's done. Hmm. Wow. This is very, as a matter of fact, you know, after listening to this, I think, let me just finish. I need, I think, I think, I need, I need to call my mom, like, I need to call my mother. I know that it's not everyone that can have that very opportunity that your mother is still even alive, right? This video is something that touch everyone. It's not about whether this is a message to Christians or to Muslims or to the Hindu, but as far as you are human and you know that you did not just come to this world, you understand, by disappearing and appearing, you came to this world through your mother. Right, I know that of course she alone did not in a sense just from you, but then your father too. But the thing is, we just have to find a way of you know showing gratitude to our mother all the time, okay? And in as much as we are fully aware that um, Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him, his mother left him when he was six years, but then even in trying to uh, explain the hadith that when he was being asked of who should deserve, you understand, your treatment or your kindness, and then he says, your mother, they say, and then who? He say, your mother, and then who? He say, your mother, and then who? He say, your mother, and then who? Before he says, your father. We are not saying that, you understand, father are of less, you understand, important, or they do not also deserve, you understand, our kindness, but let's be kind to all of them. If you are fortunate to have your mother is still alive, your dad is still alive, any slight opportunity you get or little something you get, even if you understand it's even $50, right? Just send to them. We that you understand we are working far away from home, we are not in at home, we are not with them. Any like anything you get, okay, send to them. You don't have to say that oh before uh, I have to make you understand a million dollar before I can do something for her. No, that's why I'm saying that even if it's fifty dollar, just send to her. Okay, you never know what it will mean in a sense to her. Same is also applicable in a sense to your father. The little you have, let's try to be very kind in a sense to them. For instance, this one until when the mother in a sense was battling in a sense with cancer and all those things and reaching the final stage before he now realized that uh, I think that he could have treated in a sense his mother in a sense the right way. Maybe probably he could have been more kind in a sense to her on something that he did not do. But then sometimes they says that when somebody climb a very far building and then fall down and die, you don't have to climb a very far building and then jump and die before you know that you are not supposed to, right? So the thing is, we don't have to say that, oh, because our mother is still alive, maybe there is still time. The truth about it is there may not be time because the truth is you don't own this life, right? And you don't know when you're going to live. So they too, in a sense, they have been here. And as a matter of fact, there are a lot of people that even come to this world without even knowing their mother. But then you, you have that opportunity of meeting both your dad, your mom, and all those things, or any of the parents. So what that is there is that that little opportunity we get or whatever we have, let's try to to show appreciation to them. Let's try to to thank them, you understand? Let's just thank them, just like how, in a sense, Mohammed Hoblos, you understand, encourage us. As a matter of fact, I became, in a sense, very touched, in a sense, with this video or reacting to this video. And I hope that after you listen to me right in this video if you are not living with your parent or if you are not they just try to want to tell them what well, thank you okay just thank them show their sign of innocent gratitude to them at least they have done a lot you understand for you for some of us maybe our parents innocent work very hard our mom and all those things sacrificed a lot to send us to the best schools and make sure that we live in a very comfortable life okay so they have to go through a lot of things that we may not know when we are young we don't used to know that there are economic hardship and all that because of why our parents used to provide everything but now we have grown and now we got to realize that making money in a sense is difficult right things like that so it means that we owe them a lot it's not that like we have to do because they get bored then at least we have to do that in as an as children if any of your parent is still alive just show sign of gratitude to them just thank them always and then if you have something just try and then send to them as a way of in a sense showing appreciation a very interesting video this video has touched me greatly all right 
and I'm going to try my best. I'm going to call my mother <laughs> immediately. I finish this video. I'm going to call my mother too. All right. So I hope that um, a lot of you might have thought an opinion in a sense concerning this. Of course, I didn't watch this video alone. You also watch it along with me. So I want you to also share your thought and opinion in a sense concerning this. And then if you understand your mother is still alive, okay, or you want to share in a sense a story that you have with your mom, you can just put that in a sense at the comment section on how you think that we should be showing appreciation to our parent. And if our parents in a sense are not alive probably we have lost them to death what can we do in order for us to should i say to redeem or to make them know that in a sense we care even though they are not alive i want to see that also at the comment section and may god bless you as you do so so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out okay so you remain blessed and i see you in my next video Bye-bye.